Welcome to our feature clip on the Prices Update Wizard for SAP Business One 9.2. Maintaining price updates has become much simpler and easier using the new Prices Update Wizard. It allows you to update item prices in price lists systematically and in bulk. You can even convert prices into other currencies. Updates can be restricted to apply only for selected items, price lists, currencies and unit of measures. And a new simulation mode shows you all of the suggested changes before you decide to commit and execute the update. This Prices Update Wizard can save a lot of time if your company needs frequent pricing updates across a large number of items and price lists. So let's have a look at two use case examples where the Prices Update Wizard may be applied. OEC Computers imports memory chips and sells them to their local customers. Since the purchase price of this item has been increased, OEC Computers wants to update the sales price by £10 across all price lists accordingly. OEC Computers also wants to promote their business with their small account customers. And therefore, OEC Computers would like to apply a discount of 50% across all items specifically for their small account customers. So let's see how these examples are executed in SAP Business One Release 9.2. We are now logged in to SAP Business One Release 9.2. You can access the Prices Update Wizard directly under Stock Management. And then you can access under Price Lists the Prices Update Wizard. Or alternatively, you can click on Price Lists and open up the Price List window. This will allow you to review your price lists before accessing the Prices Update Wizard. Now we've opened up the Prices Update Wizard, we click Next, and now we can begin working through the four different steps in order to update our price for the memory chip. The first step is to define the update method, and to do this we're wanting to update our memory chip price by £10, so we select Item Price, we then select our calculation method, and in this case we're going to add 10 pounds. We now enter stage 2 which is the selection criteria stage. We can then select our preferred supply code, specific items or item groups and in this case we're going to select the item memory chip. We then need to select the specific price lists that we would like to update this price with. You can either use the drop down menu and given that we're wanting to select all of our sales price lists, we select multiple and this will bring up the price list window. Alternatively, you can select the price list window from here directly. We're going to select all of our sales price lists and move on to the next stage. We're now in the simulation mode and this will give you the opportunity to review the changes before you commit and execute these changes. In this case we're viewing the items which are grouped by item. You can see that the current price for this particular item in this price list is £37.50p and you can see that £10 has been added to this price. You can also group the simulation mode by price list. Once we're happy with the simulation, we can select the items that we want to update and execute. Stage 4 simply provides you with a summary as to whether or not the update has been successful or otherwise. OEC Computers would now like to apply a 50% discount across their small account customers price list. To do this, we select the Prices Update Wizard. We select our Update Method, and in this case, we're going to select our Base Price List, which will be the Small Account Sales Price List, and we're going to incorporate a 50% discount. So we're going to choose a factor of 0 0.5. Then we choose our Selection Criteria, and in this case, we're going to select all of the items within that price list. 
so we just have to simply click Next. Then we confirm the price list that we want to update, which is the small account sales price list. And here we can simply review, for example, all of the items within that price list, the current price and the suggested price. And as you can see, the suggested price is 50% of the current price. Once you're happy with that simulation, you can simply select update to update those prices and commit those prices to the system. As you can see in our summary, all of those prices have been updated successfully. So now we've shown you two simple examples of how to utilise the prices update wizard in SAP Business One release 9.2. Thank you for your time and check out the other feature clips highlighting what's new in SAP Business One 9.2